reviewed your new sound and said that it's poo poo. I do do on whatever you fools do. I mean, who doesn't want some chainsaw noise in their Rico Nasty review? I'm Trixie the Golden Witch, and I'm about to tell you about this new token song featuring Rico Nasty. I did not expect this in any way, shape, or form. So Token is an artist I hadn't really been exposed to until my producer and editor Riley showed me him, and uh, he's been around since he was like a kid, like 12 years old, he was doing shows, and he has immaculate flow. This kid has the most like technical, complex, like braggadocious, out of control, energy for rap out of almost anybody I've seen. Something I've always had a problem with with Token is that he is just like too young and too about how young he is in a way. I think he got started in the rap game so early that he didn't really have a ton of life experiences to rap about. And to this point, because he's remained so dedicated to rap, it's still kind of most of what he talks about is like that he's a great rapper, that he's accomplished all that he has at such a young age, what you know kind of money and stuff he has, and that's not unusual for rap per se. So yeah, Token, you know, his, his lyrical depth is he's capable of exploring subjects with an incredible amount of depth. He just hasn't really found subjects, I guess, that he's interested in or, or knows enough about to, to have a lot to say about them. So this song, this new track, uh, suffers a little bit of that too. It's mostly kind of a brag rap about the things that he's accomplished. But I will say, Tokens sounds like his balls are finally dropping. Like, uh, his voice is a little deeper and a little, like, I, I would say my biggest problem with him other than his lyrics has been just his voice is like a little too like I don't know snotty I guess and he's working on that he's coming through sounding more masculine obviously trying to do like I don't know if his album is meant to be like for the ladies or about the ladies or if he's trying to just like show respect to the ladies but he's got an album called pink is better on the way uh, this song is called High Heels. He said that he likes Lil Nas X more than Nas. So I don't know, maybe it's a maybe it's a gay thing. I have no idea what he's going for here. But he's got Rico Nasty on a track. And like, I mean, I don't know that Rico has like a bunch of strong associations of like where I would expect her to turn up. But I just would never have imagined these two artists were even like really aware of each other if not for the fact that they're in this song together. And uh, you know, Rico's pretty much playing off of Token's energy and lyrical content. She's also bragging about what she got. Really, I think this is mostly like just a, a pretty solid like pop rap song. If you just want to hear like fun bars, well delivered, over a good beat by, you know, a couple of great rappers, you'll get what you came for in that respect. I don't think there's necessarily like a, a reason that this song would be one you'd continually come back to or favor. So the conceit of this song is that it's about the, the girl wearing such high heels that she can't fit her feet into his tiny sports car. And, uh, yeah, I mean, who could be the more perfect, like, wearer of the high heels than Rico Nasty? I think she is probably, like, the ultimate, like, fashion bitch right now in the world of rap. I know, like, everyone wants, like, everybody's wearing high fashion and shit. But, like, if you're not Lil Nas X or Rico Nasty, I haven't been paying attention. So, you know, work on it. It is actually kind of funny seeing Token next to Rico in the video because he's just like dressed normal and she's in like, you know, full Rico nasty like freak wear basically. Uh, it's awesome. So yeah, this is like a solid unexpected track. It definitely got me to listen to Token in a way I probably wouldn't have like this year, you know? So uh, shout out to that. Curious what his album's gonna be. I heard another track from it that is a lot more on like the sad boy introspective side. Um, Sip, which is like all right. It's not necessarily like a song I would chase after, but it seemed kind of meaningful and like uh, emotional. So, kudos on that. I don't know which direction the album's gonna take. More emotional or more of the braggadocious? Probably a mix. Personally, as an artist, I've tried to explore lots of different sonic styles and tones and, and even structures. So I get why a young artist like Token wants to really explore everything that he is interested in, all the possibilities of what he can do. In summary, when Token says that he bought a new car and he can't fit it in his garage because it's already full, it just doesn't have the same impact as when 21 Savage said, why you got a 12 car garage and you only got six cars. It was just a more memorable lyric 
because the implication is I already have tons of money and I'm going to keep making more, not like I didn't think far enough ahead and bought too small of a garage, basically. So, like, I think I think Token can't quite do what he's trying to do as well as some of the other people in the game can, and there are things he can do that nobody else probably can, and so I hope he focuses more on that as he goes into this album and into the future. If he happens to see this, shout out Token, shout out Rico Nasty. Uh, would love to perform beside either of you. I'm Trial of the Golden Witch. You can find my music here on this channel or on Bandcamp, as well as that as my producer and editor, Vizier. We have collaborative projects. We have our own channels. We do vlogs. I review anime. All that's linked below, as well as everywhere that you can support us. Never forget, music makes me happy and therefore is good. And only things that make me happy are good. Nothing else. Goodbye. Reviewed your new sound and said that it's poo poo. I do do on whatever you fools do. My crew do voodoo. Make weird shit start happening to you. Get you freaked out, thinking you tweaking like you need a new plug. Ugly, cute like a pug. Sweep shit under the rug. 